Hello, Sally. Hello, Alice. How are you two today? We were just talking about a new story, Alice on slash dot. MySQL.com got hacked. Their usernames and passwords were stolen. I heard about that. She said it was an SQL injection attack? What is that? Yes, it was. You know that server-side programming combines database queries in SQL with another language like PHP or ColdFusion, right? Or Ruby, Perl, Python, C Sharp, and more. All server-side languages are vulnerable to SQL injection. All of them? Yes, all of them. When a web page works with parameters from the query string, forms, or cookies, it must be careful with them. Careful how? Newbie coders will use parameter variables right inside of their SQL queries. Yeah, so? The parameters may contain malicious code, like a delete query. But the bad part of the query won't run, will it? Yes, if the hacker is smart or is using a program built to automate the attack. I didn't know there were programs that would do that. How do you stop it? All server-side languages and databases allow you to do what is called parameter binding. What is parameter binding? It's when you send the database your SQL query and your variables separately, like arguments to a function. You can do that? Yes. Because the query and variables are split apart, SQL injection cannot work. Oh no. Sally, where are you going? I have to fix my web pages before someone hacks me too. Wait up. I'll help you. Now that is good thinking. See you in school.